hello guys welcome back this is ashok from techeb and today we'll be doing a video on cardinal extended rom based on android oreo for oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t this rom can be used for both the devices and you don't have to download the separate file but make sure to use google app package after installing the rom installation process i'll show you at the end of the video so now let's go inside the rom so this is a home screen swiping up gets you the app drawer and long pressing the home screen will allow you to customize the same so here you have icon shapes you can change few icon shapes pre-installed available here you get an option to enable notification dot this room is pretty stable with a very good battery backup and it's a more stable room based on android oreo i've got a great battery backup playing heavy games like nfs and asphalt 8 so let's go to settings battery i'll show you the battery usage over here so you can see 3 hours and 13 minutes of screen on time still i have 29 percent of battery remaining these are the games which i played the most and these are pretty heavy games if you guys don't play such heavy games you'll obviously get little more battery juice first let me show you the software information about this room so we go to settings we go to about phone and here you can see the android version is 8.0.0 .0. Cardinal AOSP version is 5.0 with a security patch of 5th October 2017. Next moving on to few basic things like fingerprint. So I'll just show you the fingerprint is working great without any kind of issues. It opens up very quickly. Volt services are working in this. I have personally tested. I just removed the SIM card because I was testing the battery life while playing heavy games. Camera also works perfect and is capable of recording. 4k videos using rear camera and 1080 using front camera next moving on to the customizations options available in this so here in the settings you will find an option of the wings additional customization which consists of general status bar buttons lock screen and recent customizations so in general you have few options like always on display wake up on plug sensor block package and in call vibrations under status bar you have quick setting notification status bar icons notification traffic double tap to sleep moving to buttons you have navigation bar option available you can use your volume key to wake up the device and few do not disturb modes later you have lock screen under which you have lock screen shortcuts hide bottom shortcuts media art fingerprint unlock which will allow your device unlock using fingerprint after the reboot last one you have recents in this you can enable show aosp clear all so if you enable this you get an option in the recents to clear all recents and you can also change the location of that and few other things which i would like to show you is the gestures so you have few screen off gestures available in this so if you enable this you can set any of the screen off gestures and i normally use like for the flashlight and for the cameras i just off the screen draw a circle over here okay it is asking for password and once you put your pin code or password it will open the camera and same for flashlight you just draw an up arrow the flashlight gets on so these gestures i normally use it on daily basis so this is the thing which i like a lot next you can also customize the notification slider and under this you also have an option to swap buttons and in this room you have few high quality bluetooth codecs available so that can be found in settings you go to developer option and here you will see bluetooth audio codec these codec will improve the sound quality over bluetooth devices these are the customizations and now i'll show you the benchmark test which i have done on this room and it scored pretty good scores on both single core and multi core so now I'll show you the installation process guys make sure to download the files from the description below and I have already downloaded one is the ROM file and other is the Google app package. So once you have downloaded both these files boot your device to recovery and also make sure to have blue spark recovery version 50. After you have installed this go to wipe advanced wipe and clear everything do not select internal memory as you have placed the ROM file inside it. Swipe to wipe. After this is done go back, install the ROM, 
if you want you can add one more zip that is google app package so once both are added swipe confirm to flash and wait for the device to complete the flashing process once the process is completed just hit reboot system and wait for the device to reboot your device will take hardly 2 to 3 minutes to boot up after that you can complete the initial setup and start using the room and if you are facing any kind of issues do let me know in the comment section below so that's it for today if you guys like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day